Okay, how do you talk to a tennis player? Obviously, it depends. In some ways, yeah, sure, tennis is a, in a science. Is it an exact science? No, because it's played by people. Therefore, it's an inexact science. But how do you talk to a player? Make it simple. And then turn the table, reverse the role, where they have to do the talking. Someone just played a match, and sometimes you want to give them 24 hours before you talk to them about the match. But just break it into four areas. There's head work, there's foot work, there's body work, and there's racket work. And everything really starts with head work. So you just say those four things. Okay, let's break it into head work. Let's break it down to footwork two, body work three, and then racket work four. Now, tell me where you're weak. Tell me where you lost the match. Tell me where you need to improve. And then to get the feedback, let them vent, let them tell you, hey, I think this and I think that. And many times you'll find out that they're way off base. They have no idea what happened in the match. They played it, but they don't have any idea what happened. Granted, that's where it's, it, it's super to have film and have charts. But many times it, it's, it's an art. How do you talk to a tennis player? Howard Cosell wrote a book. Um, I never played the game. And a word that you won't find in the dictionary, but Howard Cosell, jockocracy. Well, say, for example, you're coaching someone who's played at a real high level, and you haven't. How do you talk to that person? Well, keep it simple, and then turn it around where um, let them vent, let them talk, and, and break it into four areas. It could be a, a different way, but for me, head work, and then a racket work, footwork, body work, those four. But then also you can tell the player there's four parts of the game. The, the technical, the tactical, the physical, the mental, the emotional. Okay? Tell me where you lost the match. Tell, tell me what was the difference. Wh what, which one of those areas do you, do you need to go back to the drawing board at least a little bit to make a difference? 